All right, so this question that you're seeing here is a sample question from the Algebra 1 Keystone. It is written a little bit different than the ones we've done so far in class. It says an expression is shown below, 2 square roots of 51, x. And it's, the question is, says, which value of x makes the expression equivalent to 10 square roots of 51? Now, what I would do with this this question is look at this for this part first. This 51, 51 is what's called a prime number. It cannot be um, broken down into factors. The only factors it would have is 51 and 1. Um, then I would look at these ones down, these other numbers down here, and say if I put 5 in there for x. 5 is also a prime number. It cannot be broken down into, into factors. So that leaves me with uh, 25, 50, and 100. Since it's going to be going underneath a square root, I want to know which of those three choices that I have now are perfect squares. And that leaves me with... Um, 25 and 100 as perfect squares. So if I took that 25 and substituted in for the x in the problem, I'd then be able to learn to use what we talked about today and said that I can take the square root of 25. The square root of 25 is 5, and that 5 would come out to be multiplied with that 2 in the front and the 51 would stay underneath the square root. Thus allowing us to simplify to 10 square roots of 51. Let me show you, we said 100 was another choice. Let me show you that and kind of go over why it doesn't work that if when you substitute the 100 in for x, we do 51 times 100, we can take the square root of 100, square root of 100 is 10. That 10 would pop out with the 2 to be multiplied and the 51 would stay underneath. That problem, that would then simplify to 20 square roots of 51 which is not what we want up here in the problem. Your answer is, your correct answer is B, 25.